Hi friends, it's Peggy Noe from PrettyPaperCards.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm here today with a video tutorial to show you how to make a really adorable winter card and it involves coffee. So if you're someone who likes coffee or who knows people who like coffee, this is the, the card for you. This particular card uses some products from the Stampin' Up! August to December mini catalog and one of the products is this beautiful Snowflake Splendor Designer Series paper that we're going to use. It is gorgeous. And an interesting thing to note, Stampin' Up! is now with their various suites of products, and this is the Snowflake Splendor Suite, they are putting um, a little list of the colors, a little swatch, and the names of the colors that go with the designer series paper and the other products in the suite. This is page 37 of the August to December mini catalog. And that's what I've done for today's card is I wanted to use this paper and I pulled some uh, coordinating colors from these swatches. Now we're also going to use the fun press on stamp set. This is it right here. And this, these are some of the samples of things you can make. It's an adorable coffee-featured uh, coffee um, stamp set. It has a fun takeout cup like we get with our coffee. And it also has a mug for your, you know, if, you're, if you drink out of a mug or at home, you could also use it for tea. It has some really great sentiments, and that's what we're going to play with today. So we're going to start off with a piece of Highland Heather cardstock. Um, it's our, going to be our card base, cut at eight and a half um, long and five and a half wide, and scored at four and a quarter. This is one of those colors that um, they recommended on the on the in the catalog. Now, on top of that, we're going to put a, a piece of the designer series paper. This. This is one of the designs, and you know they're two-sided. One reason I wanted to use this particular design is that it has swatches, excuse me, um, splatters here, splatters of the Highland Heather, and so that is something I would actually probably do to my card, and it's handy that they have already done it for me on this paper, so that's what I'm gonna use for my on my card base as my first layer. And this piece is cut at five and a quarter by four inches. And I'm just going to glue this down with multi-purpose glue. And I've positioned the splatter where I want it to turn out. And I just thought that was pretty handy. So there's our, our card base with our first layer. Now we're going to take a piece of balmy blue. That's the other color I'm using, balmy blue cardstock. And this piece is cut at one and three quarters inches by five and a quarters inches. And I'm going to use tone on tone, balmy blue ink. And we're going to put that disposable coffee cup stamp on here three times. And it's a little bit whimsical, so we don't have to be exactly straight or anything. We can just have a little bit of fun with this stamp and kind of stamp it a little bit off different sides like that. And now we'll stamp our last one. I don't know if I'm gonna get it all on there. Not quite, but that's okay. Almost, it's supposed to be a little whimsical. Now we're, we're going to take a piece of Whisper White cardstock. This one is cut to two and a half wide by five and a quarter long. And what we're gonna do is turn it uh, sideways, our landscape, and I'm going to use some Highland Heather ink, and we're going to use this, the very cute stamp that says coffee and has little hearts on each edge. And we're gonna use that stamp and just stamp coffee right across the top edge. Like that, isn't that just cute? And trying to stay up close to the edge. And then here's our third one. Well, our little heart didn't come out quite right, did it? Okay, we'll just flip it over and see what we can do here. There's a little bit of ink I'm gonna get off. Okay, let's try again. 
You could definitely use your Stamparatus. I just feel like this is just such a cute little stamp. It just, it really doesn't take too much time to do it. And we'll see if we can get our little hearts. There we go. Super cute. I really like this stamp. I love those little hearts. Very cute. So now what we're gonna do is our paper piecing. And to do that, I'm gonna take another uh, design from the designer series paper, the Snowflake Splendor. And this is one side, and this is the other side. I'm going to use this little snowflake side this time. I'm going to go ahead and stamp three more of our disposable coffee cups on there. And then we're going to cut out pieces from them and put it on, put, glue them on the coffee cups we've already stamped. So we're just going to stamp arbitrarily on here three of our cups. And now we're going to cut with our paper snips, those are our scissors, in order to do the paper piecing. And in order to do that, really all we need to do is cut inside the lines here. So I'm just going to get started. I'm going to cut off the lid, cutting inside the line of the lid, cut inside these lines like that. And then our little snowflake piece will fit perfectly inside the one we've stamped on our balmy blue. And let me show you. So it's going to look just like that. Isn't that cute? Okay, let's go for the other two. It's easy to trim these. It's not complicated. It's not fat, fancy fussy cutting um, like they call it fussy cutting when you cut by hand. But this is very, very easy. Just going down right inside the lines. It's basic, basic paper cutting. And let's put this little piece in there. Very darling. And each one is a little bit different because the paper is kind of what I might call variegated. And you can see how it goes from light to dark with all these cute little snowflakes. Okay, we're just going to cut that lid off and then we have our last little bit to cut. Okay, and here are our coffee mugs and the paper has been pieced inside of it. What do you think? And now all we need to do is put a few dots of glue on the back of each piece and adhere the piece to the coffee mug. And you'll see how cute that looks with the um, other piece of designer series paper as a background. It, I think it really sets a very nice wintry scene. I was thinking ahead and one thing that you could do is put inside of these cards, you could put a um, a nice gift card for any of the coffee shops that you frequent. I, I go to some of the big ones and some of the little ones. I love coffee. I don't know about you. I bet some of you do. Okay, this is our last little piece to go in here. Just like that. And that is paper piecing. Now I'm going to trim off, I'm sure you see that little corner that's sticking out there, we're just gonna trim that off. Just like that. Because our stack of cups is whimsical. And now we're going to adhere this stack of cups right onto our white piece so that the coffee shows like, the sentiment, the word coffee shows like that. I just, I just think it's super cute. I can't wait to give this card to some of my friends. So we're just going to line it up right there. Just like that. And now we're ready to put this right onto our card. And you see how that um, the splattering shows out. So let me get some Stampin' Dimensionals and we will rise this up on Dimensionals. 
And there's our little mistake there, but we're not going to pay any attention to it. Nobody will ever notice. Okay. And then we've got our card. I am really excited to give this to my friends. Here we go. There. Just perfect. And that little splatter shows up and looks so nice there. Isn't that cute? And then here's an envelope that I um, already, there are coffee beans in this set, this stamp set. So I stamped some coffee be beans in Highland Tether. So there is your cute little coffee winter card. I thank you so much for popping over today to my, um, to my YouTube channel. And if you haven't ever subscribed, I ask that you would. It would uh, really help me out if you would subscribe to my channel. And come back. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.